What's poppin' homies? It's your favorite homegirl that's cool. Let's get into this commentary. What's poppin' homies? It's your favorite homegirl gossip girl. And today, I'm going to give you an update on the Deja Johnson case. All right. Now, the ex-boyfriend of Deja Johnson, who was just a member and stuffed in a suitcase, is now being grilled by the cops. Police sources revealed that on Sunday, as the NYPD said it is seeking six witnesses in this case. Now, the police released photos of the five women and the one man who they said are being sought as witnesses in the connection to the Grizzly Brooklyn murder. The surveillance photos of the six people were obtained from the incident location. The former boyfriend of murdered Deja Johnson, whose body was found dismembered in her apartment last month, has been on the NYPD's radar since the gruesome discovery and now is in custody and being questioned at the 75th Precinct Station House, according to the Post. Now, law enforcement sources, all six, are believed to have been in that apartment after the woman was killed, and that's according to... To law enforcement. What, okay, after she was killed, why would you even want to go in there? Like, what is it you trying to see? Daisy Johnson, 22, had an active restraining order against her ex-boyfriend when building workers entered her apartment and found her blood-soaked remains. Blood was everywhere, pints of blood, and that was said by neighbor Stephanie Harris at the time. It was nasty. You can imagine what happened to her. You know she fought for her life. Neighbors described ongoing abuse by Johnson's boyfriend, um, who they said had left her bruised and battered in the past, and even threatened one resident's young, young daughter. Now, Johnson's relatives have faulted the building security for not doing enough to protect her. Mm -mm -mm. Her ex-boyfriend had already been arrested in March when he violated the restraining order by showing up at her Linwood Street apartment to pick up some of his belongings. And that was said by a source. The September 21st, Johnson's worried Relatives asked the building security guards to, you know, conduct a wellness check on the young aspiring teacher. But the workers were initially turned away by two men. One of them believed to be her former boyfriend. And that was the police had said that. When the workers returned to the home, they found Johnson's remains and called the police. Police have yet to file charges against the ex-boyfriend. So why... They have him in custody and they are questioning him, but why did he file any charges? I know the cops have some type of evidence, okay, linking him to this. So why they haven't filed any charges yet? And why are those six other people going in that apartment after the fact? Like, what's going on here? What's going on? And you're going to see the pictures of the six people during my commentary. Now, I've also read somewhere, and I think it was on Facebook I read it, that Deja Johnson and this guy had a horrible relationship. Meaning he was always beating on her and abusing her. And he even abused her to the point she was on crutches at one point. And I think he broke her leg. Now, this was on Facebook. I, I do remember seeing it on there. I'm not sure whose page or what pen, who pinned it up, but it was up there. I'm not, now, I'm not sure if it was 100% true, but it was said that he used to always abuse her. All right. She's 22 years old. She's too young. To, any, she's too young to be going through all this stuff. Anybody is, you know, shouldn't be going through this. Nobody should be um, beaten and abused and, you know, murdered. You shouldn't, you know, you shouldn't have to live that way. And she, you know, she, it's just sad. It's just really sad. It's just really sad. The more I talk about this case, the pissed off I get because it's like, come on. I mean, you want to take the time, you and someone else, 
to dismember her like that and then put her in two suitcases? Come on now. Come on. That's a monster. That is a monster. Okay? Now, the witnesses, as it says here in the paper, they were seen coming out of the apartment, going in and out of the apartment after her death. And why is that? How can they even get in there after all of this? Should it be taped off and locked or, or something? I don't know. Something is not adding up. Were they the ones hiding him for a certain period of time? Who knows? But I do know one thing. It took two people to do that to her because he didn't do it by himself. And then the tools that he used, you know, was, was there. And he was carrying a duffel bag. So this guy, you know, this was on his mind to do this. This is what he wanted to do. He was set on doing this. Mm -mm. Because he did yell in the hallway, um, according to a neighbor, that he yelled in the hallway saying, the only way you're going to leave me, um, your mom, your, your mother going to be doing your funeral. When people talk like that, when a man talk like that, it's time to get the hell up out of Dodge. Let me tell you something. When you are a domestic violence victim, right? When you go through the steps of getting away from this person that's abusing you, whether you're going through a shelter or whatever, you cannot stay in the same state as that person because eventually they are going to find you. You need to leave. Change your name, okay? Change your name and leave. That's what you need to do. Because they're going to find you. If you don't do that, they're going to find you and they're going to harm you. See, the order of protection or restraining order doesn't work. Yes, he got arrested in March for violating it. But guess what? It didn't stop him this time from doing, from doing what he wanted to do. And that was murder Deja. This young lady needs justice. She needs justice. And I really do hope the police do their job in making sure it happens. Because of what I'm reading, yes, they had him in custody and for questioning. You know, they are grilling him about the murder. But guess what? It also said there was no 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 charges filed. So what's going on here? What's going on? So as you can see while I'm doing my commentary, the six people that they are looking for for questioning... Okay, we know what her boyfriend looks like now, but we just don't know his name. They have not, they have not released his name. The only people that's going to know his name is the police and her family. Okay, they have not released her name, his name, and they have not released the other witnesses' names as, as, as of yet. Okay, and like I said, according to the law enforcement. All six witnesses believed to have been in the apartment after she was killed. What are you going in there for unless you are connected to the murder somehow? Right? To go back to see if he left any evidence. Did he send them? Hey, go back to the apartment and see if any evidence I left behind. But why would they even go in there after she was murdered? Why? Doesn't make sense to me. At all, cause I went. I don't want to go nowhere. Nothing. Somebody was murdered. But anyway, guys, that's all I have right now. Let me know in the comment section, um, what you think is gonna happen. Do you think he's gonna be, you know, get charged eventually? And why do you think he had he wasn't charged already? But like I said, the police know more than what they're putting out. You know, it's a waiting game for us to get information, but they know a lot more than what we know. And it's, it's always going to be that way. And I'm pretty sure the family knows. 
but you know you can't talk about certain things because you can mess up the case and i and i get that you know i respect that so as i find out more i will let you guys know okay and thank you for listening and thank you for supporting my channel and you guys have a great day